Hi, so today I wanted to show you how you can brand your SharePoint site, and in this case we're going to be using Office 365 SharePoint site, um, using a SharePoint app. So rather than modifying uh, master pages and uh, applying CSS in those master pages, JavaScript, uh, a method that's been well known for many years in the past, uh, we're going to use a SharePoint app uh, to package these branding customizations and be able to simply activate the branding. So in my example here, if you're looking at Office 365 side, I have this app here uh, that I'm going to go to and I'm going to click the embed button and then the app is going to do something. When I'm going to go back to the site, uh, now that site is branded with some uh, gray colors and a picture here, etc, etc. So let's take a look at how that's done. First of all, I wanted to show you that as easy it is to activate this branding, it's also very easy to deactivate this branding. So I click a remove button and the stuff is gone. So much more simpler and much more cleaner and uh, applying, copying master pages, deploying solutions. Um, and it's much more cleaner for both on-premises, whether you're on-premises on or in Office 365. So let me show you how, how I got there. It's actually quite simple. Um, so First things first, I'm going to download a starter kit and a starter kit uh, comes uh, if, if you basically search for core embed JavaScript JSON, it'll give you this project. And this project is a GitHub project as a community project allowing you to, um, you know, which has lots of different samples. One of the samples that we uh, were using is this embed JavaScript JSON. But there's a couple of things that I wanted to um, change in that project to show you um, how, how you can actually make a practical use out of it. So feel free to download this project as a Visual Studio solution. So when you download Visual Studio solution, in my case I'm using Visual Studio 2013, you open it and this is what you uh, end up with. This is the solution uh, with standard uh, artifacts that come with every app project. So the one, the, the one part that where our, the entire logic is going to live is under content. There's a scenario one, and it's basically an example scenario uh, that comes with this with this project. But we're going to make a couple of changes here. Uh, first things first, uh, let me kind of explain what's going on here. Uh, they're referencing a jQuery here. Um, that uh, upon upload of that particular script, uh, they're using a register module uh, in it. And that's basically performs the JavaScript injection or embedding into the master page. Essentially, what you can think of, if you're familiar with the concept of delegate controls, essentially what we're doing, we're injecting a piece of JavaScript inside the, uh, the master page. Um, and, and basically, whatever we're injecting, in this case, is JavaScript embed method, right from over here, that's basically executing our script. So we can put whatever we want here, whatever logic we want. You can see some example logic here where the author added uh, uh, some text and, uh, and some image. Uh, but really, this, this, we, we can do anything we want in this case. So uh, let's go ahead and, and, and customize some of these things. Uh, I'm going to go back to my SharePoint side. First thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to change the, 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 the background color of this, uh, of this left navigation. So I'm going to use, uh, uh, I'm using Firebug, uh, which, come, which is a plugin in Firefox, uh, but you can use Chrome uh, debugging plugin or IE developer toolbar to basically achieve the same result. So I'm going to locate this area that I want to change the color for. Um, this is the ID of the area. And I'm going to use this particular function uh, right here, set status bar, because that's really the, the function that this author is using uh, to, to call when the script is loaded. So I'm going to replace the content of the set status bar to something that's uh, something of my own. So I'm going to uh, call out uh, this. Um, I'm going to call out this uh, particular selector through jQuery. And jQuery is loaded already here, so there's no problem in, with that. And I'm going to change the attribute of, um, of uh, this style to um, basically have my own custom background. And let's see what background we're going to use. Background color. 
and I'm going to use some light gray color. So that should be good enough. I'm going to use that. Also, I want to apply the same color to everywhere on other elements on the side. So I've added the background color here. I'm going to add uh, basically copy this uh, statement a couple of more times and I'm going to apply changes to my uh, header over here. And that's uh, with the idea of S4 title row. So I'm going to make my S4 title row the same color. And I'm going to also fill in this white space here, this blank here. And that's content row. That's idea of the content row. So my content row is is also going to be of the same color. So uh, essentially, I've made my customizations. Um, and now I can also, of course, as you've seen before, I can change the, um, you know, the URL of this particular image to wherever I want. So in my case, uh, this particular image is the site icon, right? And obviously, there's there's a variety of ways that you can achieve this, but one of the one of the ways is to just manipulate this particular um, icon through the JavaScript. You can obviously this particular icon can be can be changed through site settings. So you know there there's that. But we're just gonna look how we can modify this through the markup directly. So I'm gonna call out on uh, this class, and I'm gonna replace the attribute of source of an image to something um, to some other source and I have an image here that I've stored uh, that I found from Google straight from Google and I'm gonna use that so that's it I'm done um, now let's go ahead and deploy this application And it's going to start deploying to the site. It's already associated. This solution is already associated with my Office 365 site. Um, if you're deploying on premises, it's pretty much the same uh, process. Just need to make sure that uh, you have uh, apps framework installed on your on-premises site. Now, once this installation is finished, you will see um, the Internet Explorer pop up and prompting me to authorize this app what i'm going to do since i'm already logged in through firefox i'm going to close internet explorer and go to my app here through site contents and i'm going to give it the right permissions i'm going to say uh, click on ellipsis click permissions and say that i want to make sure that this app is trusted otherwise it won't execute you have to do it every time you deploy unfortunately you have to, every time you deploy, you have to trust your app again. So um, going back here to my app, this is the, uh, the front page of the app. And I'm going to click embed and go back. And if everything's well, you could see that everything got loaded. And you notice that the color, the gray color that I'm using is a little bit different in the beginning than I'm using right now. So that shows you that whatever changes I made have executed right, right, right now. Um, so obviously a couple of things that I want to mention, if some of you kind of already have uh, thoughts in the back of their mind, um, why are we changing CSS through JavaScript here? Why can't we use a CSS file right here or CSS file in a solution? Obviously it's easier to write CSS within the CSS file than putting all these attributes that are executed dynamically. And you're absolutely right. Um, in this example, uh, we basically demonstrate the, how, how you can execute your custom JavaScript. In the next example, I'll post a video, I'll demonstrate how you can upload the, uh, the uh, CSS file. Uh, the limitation of this particular example that we've downloaded from online is that it Im embeds the JavaScript. It doesn't, um, it doesn't embed uh, the CSS files in a proper way. Because uh, obviously the way you embed JavaScript and the way you embed the CSS files uh, is different. So this solution only is limited to embedding the JavaScript file. That's why we, I didn't really add anything in here in app CSS because otherwise it, it wouldn't 
it wouldn't apply to the site. Um, and also one side note that I wanted to also mention is that naturally, just as you've modified all of these attributes and changed the color of the site, you can do much more complicated things. You could do, uh, you know, things like mega menu, you can add your own mega menu here uh, by uploading JavaScript and injecting the logic. You can manipulate um, the rendering of, you know, of things like uh, web parts or list views on the side here. So if you have a list view that you want to add some interaction to how how the list items are displayed, you can do that as well. Because the JavaScript that's injected right now is applying to the entire uh, to the entire page here and to, to the entire site. Basically, it's as if you were to apply it through the master page. So it's pretty powerful um, and definitely easy to clean up. All I need to do to clean up, it just deactivated in my in my app and um, things go back to normal. All right. Well, thanks everyone for watching. Hope to see you next time.